These are the GoGroo Blue Vibe DLX. They're a Bluetooth headset. They're going to pair with any Bluetooth enabled device, smartphones, tablets, MP3 players, and computers provided they have the necessary A2DP Bluetooth drivers. It operates with Bluetooth 2.1 and has micro USB charging. No proprietary cable on this headset. So when you get it out, first thing you'll notice is it does come in a very nicely packaged carrying case. We'll unzip it. On the inside you have your micro USB charging cable as well as an auxiliary cable. Why does a head Bluetooth headset have an auxiliary cable? Um, because if you have a non-Bluetooth enabled device that you want to use these uh, headphones to listen to, you can also plug in an auxiliary cable to the bottom of the headset and listen to your music that way as well. You don't need to have a Bluetooth enabled device, but it is a bonus of having one. So the headset itself comes uh, inside its case, fold it up, just undo it there. So as we were discussing earlier, it has its own micro USB charging port as well as the auxiliary port on the bottom. So if you uh, don't want to use a Bluetooth, say you have an older device that doesn't have Bluetooth on it, you can plug in the auxiliary cable to the bottom and listen to your music that way. Power button is on your right ear, right here. So to enter these into pairing mode, you'll want to press and hold that button down. You'll get a small beep. Keep holding until you get the flashing red and blue light. You want to charge this headset up for three hours when you first get it, and you'll get 14 hours of playback time. So pairing is simple. Again, once you got it into pairing mode, you go into your device, into your Bluetooth settings. It'll show up as the GoGroove Blue Vibe DLX. And once you pair it up, your device will let you know that you paired to it. And then you put the headset on and you have controls on the side here. You have play, pause, and then your forward and back controls so you can use those to control your music as well as play and pause. And you'll notice the headset is very comfortable. It's got plush padded earphones as well as a padded headband on the top. These do sound really great. Got the uh, Blue Vibe DLX name on the top there. And there's also a built-in microphone. So if you're listening to music with your cell phone and a call comes in, you can uh, press the play button to answer the call, talk to the person, press play to end the call again, and your music comes back on and you're good to go. Possible troubleshooting tips with the Blue Vibe DLX. Um, if your device isn't pairing to it, make sure it is in pairing mode. Again, um, pairing mode is achieved by holding the power button down on the right side of the headset until that light on the bottom is flashing blue and red. That indicates pairing mode. If it's just blinking blue, it's not in pairing mode. So make sure that it is in pairing mode. That way your device can discover it. If you're not hearing any sound, make sure the volume is turned up on the headset as well as your device. Make sure your music is playing and you should be getting sound at that point. The headset's not lasting as long as you think it should. Keep in mind when you first get a new device out of the box, um, it's always good to charge it up full. Three hours to charge the headset with the micro USB cable that is included and you should get 14 hours of playback time. If you're not experiencing that 14 hours, um, try running the battery dead all the way and charging it up full. Doing that a couple of times will exercise the internal battery and you should notice better battery life at that point. And that is the GoGroup Blue Vibe DLX.